We've already taken a look at very simple comparison operators within if statements. And that's when we did something like if some kind of variable is equal to some value. So this is an equals comparison operator. What we're now going to look at though is logical operators. Now logical operators sound more confusing than they actually are. Now we've already seen how to create an if statement and check if a condition is either true or false or if that condition evaluates to true or false. But what if we want to check multiple things? Now let's take a look at again just to recap a very basic example. We know that this block here will be run if we go ahead and run this code because we know that one or true evaluates to true. Now, keeping this kind of example, let's make this a little bit more interesting and bring in the first logical operator. All this means is we can use this operator to say, well, is this true? So this first statement here and is this true? So we need double and. Now you may see this written as and, which is perfectly fine, but generally we tend to use a double ampersand uh, to denote this operator. So in here, let's see if this will run. So let's just go and output the word hello. Let's come over, give that a refresh, and we see that we get hello output. So what we've done then is place this in here to say, is this true and is this true? Now this of course doesn't make sense because we are using two true values. We've essentially hard coded them in here. However, we know that if we had some other kind of statement in here and another kind of statement in here, then this would work. Okay, so let's make this more interesting. Let's go ahead and set this one to false. So this has to be true and this has to be true. Now you can probably guess this isn't gonna run because both of these need to be true to go ahead and run this block. If we run this, we see nothing. Now we can chain multiple logical operators on. So for example, if we were to say and true, what do you think is gonna happen here? So is this true and is this true? And is this true? Of course, they're not all true. So we come over and we don't see anything. If we were to change this to true, this will work. If we were to change any of other of these to false, it still doesn't work. So basically anything we put in here, if we're using the and operator, has to be true. So to put this in another way, as long as we have false in here somewhere and we're using the and operator everywhere, then this is going to always, this whole thing, evaluate to false. So before we explore more logical operators, let's just switch out this silly example to something that is a little bit more real world. Now let's say that to enter a website, we needed a username and we needed a password. That makes pretty much sense. Well, in my case, I'm going to uh, hard code in what I am expecting for the username and password. So I'm gonna say, well, when the user enters a username, I want this to equal Alex and I want the password that they enter to equal I love cats. And then if that's the case, they are in. So we're gonna say you are in. Now the username and password that they provide would be up here. So let's just say username and I'm gonna set this to Billy. And then I'm going to set the password here to I love cats. Now, of course, this isn't the way that you would implement any kind of authentication system. We're just looking at a very basic example but here you can see what we mean. We're using two different comparisons. So we're saying the username has to equal Alex and the password has to equal I love cats. Now, of course, at the moment, this isn't gonna work because the username is currently set to Billy. Let's refresh and you see, we don't see anything in the browser. However, if we switch this over to Alex, now both of these on either side evaluate to true. And therefore, because we're using the and operator, this whole condition evaluates to true and we see you are in. Okay, so now let's move on to the or logical operator. This allows us to check if any one of the values is true. So let's get rid of this example and we're gonna say again, day of week, and we're gonna set this to let's say three. So let's imagine that that is a Wednesday. What we want to do is check if the day of the week that is provided is either six or seven, which would in our case be a Saturday or a Sunday, and then say the weekend is here, if it's a six or a seven. So in this case, we would say, well, if the day of the week that we've provided is equal to six, and then we can either say or, 
or we can do a double pipe symbol for or, which is again more common, day of week is equal to seven. So if the day of the week is equal to six, or the day of the week is equal to seven, then we're going to echo out the weekend is here, brilliant. So if we go over to the browser and give that a refresh, we don't see anything. Now, of course, we're using an or operator here because if we were to say, if the day of the week is six and the day of the week is seven, this doesn't make sense at all because this variable at any one time can only hold one value. This would mean that the value would have to be six and seven, which just doesn't make sense. So we use or here instead. Okay, so now if I define out a Saturday, the weekend is here. If I define out a seven, which is Sunday, the weekend is here, brilliant. Now we've actually already covered the next operator we're going to look at, and this is called not. Now this is the exclamation mark that we put before something. And at this point, it's important to say that we can combine and or not operators inside of one condition. So depending on how complex things are getting, you can combine all of these. So let's take a look at an example of this. Let's just go ahead and get rid of this if statement just so we can start again. Now let's say that the day of the week is seven. And what we're going to do is define out if we're working the weekend. So working the weekend, and I'm gonna set this to true. So we're now introducing a Boolean value. Okay, so what we want to do is create our if statement here and we're going to say if the day of the week is equal to six or the day of the week is equal to seven like so and we're not working at the weekend then we're going to say you have a day off now we're going to run this and we're going to see if this works so we are working at the weekend and it's a Sunday, so we shouldn't see you have a day off. Now, what happens when we change this over to six? Well, we would expect to see nothing because what's happening is it's currently Saturday and we are working the weekend, so we shouldn't see that we have a day off. We don't have a day off if we're working the weekend and it is Saturday, makes sense. Give that a refresh and it now says you have the day off. So, at this point, it's not working as we hoped it would. The reason for this is because of something called operator precedence. Now to make this work, we need to think logically about the way our current condition is structured. Now what we're actually saying here, according to PHP is, if the day of the week is six, or the day of the week is seven, and we're not working the weekend, What's not happening here is we're not checking if the day of the week is six and we're not working the weekend. So it's just kind of this part here being evaluated and then this part here being evaluated. So because the day of the week is six, this is evaluating to true and therefore we're outputting you have a day off. When in actual fact, if we are working the weekend and it's Saturday, we shouldn't have a day off. So what we actually want to say is if the day of the week is six or seven and we're not working the weekend, then run the block. So at first, these might seem like pretty similar conditions, but if you have a good think about this, it will start to make sense. So to fix this up, we want to basically put the condition here that we want to evaluate first into parentheses. So this is saying if the day of the week is six or the day of the week is seven, and we're not working the weekend, then we have a day off. So regardless of this being six or seven now, we should see the same result. Give that a refresh. We haven't got the day off because it's Sunday. If we go ahead and set this to six, this now works. We haven't got the day off. If I was to change this to say Monday, we don't see anything. If I was to change working the weekend to false and it's currently Saturday, we now see you have the day off. Same with seven, we now have the day off. And if we change this to one, we don't have the day off because we're assuming that a working week is Monday to Friday. Now, don't worry if this is slightly confusing at first. The more you start to play around with writing code, the sooner these kind of things will sink in. And it's really all down to what you're trying to build. So that pretty much wraps up logical operators. You can find more information and examples of these over on the PHP manual, but pretty much the or operator the AND operator and the NOT operator 
are really everything you're going to need. Just be wary of your parentheses and what is checked first inside of this condition so you don't run into any mistakes like we've already seen just here.